turn right onto RT-110. GPS leads thousands to the Route 110 corridor every day. The six-mile stretch is one of Long Island's busiest business hubs. But most here never suspected it was also a marketplace for heroin. I have seen cars in the, in the back. One of my workers, he, he told me that they might be dealing drugs or something. So I didn't believe him. I didn't know. Osama El Shinawi owns an antique store along Route 110. The parking lot outside is one of 13 locations where a law enforcement source says drugs were peddled on a regular basis. The dealers, prosecutors say, operated out of luxury cars like Maseratis and Bentleys. A Bentley around here or a BMW or Mercedes is not suspicious. Outside of Starbucks, Route 110 businessman Anthony DeLisi expressed surprise. But investigators say up to $50,000 a week in heroin was sold outside the hotels, movie theaters, and big box stores here. With any business, you go to where the people are. That's why drug counselor Steve Chasman says no one should be surprised drug dealers were thriving in this business hub. More and more heroin users, he says, are affluent Long Islanders. My little brother walked in on me shooting heroin. Tatiana Green is a recovering addict who now works to help others escape drugs. She calls the Route 110 bust a small step towards slowing a problem that led to 442 overdose deaths on Long Island in 2015 alone. When I heard about it, I was like, yes, like we got them more bad energy off the street.